Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to my Pokemon Ultra Moon. Last episode, we defeated Lysander and now we have unlocked the warp panel behind the mirror. So, let's go through and assume we're going to take on Getsis. Oh, hi. Well now, what do we have here? Come out wondering what the commotion is? Only from the door to the center of the castle ajar. And the intruders running wild. Seems those team leaders from other worlds are not nearly as useful as I had hoped. Who are you? Where's my brother? You haven't harmed him, have you? Mother, you say? I see, you're the daughter of the president. My name is Getsis, and I'm representing Team Plasma. I too was summoned from another world, much like the other leaders you've defeated. There's no need to worry. You'll find the president up ahead, blissfully asleep and dreaming. Mother! Ah, <laughs> not so fast. Please get out of my way. Unfortunately, I cannot let you go beyond this point. You see, I have been thinking long and hard about the reason I have been sent to this world. And now, I believe I finally have the answer. My purpose is to travel between the worlds freeing all Pokemon from foolish people. At the same time, consolidate all the power in all the worlds to myself. In order to achieve this beautiful ideal, however, I have need of a useful pawn. And that man, the leader of Team Rocket, is a man of pure evil. If I can make good of use of him and set up him as a king, I shall be able to reign supreme above all existence. So basically he's going to try and uh, make Giovanni like N. <laughs> I found that humans with their predictable ambitions are easier to use and control than a freak without a human heart. Man, you leave N alone. Wouldn't do at all to have you get in his way, especially when I must establish him as my king. Must you insist on interfering with my plans? Very well then. All obstacles to my ambitions must be removed. For a split second, I really thought that this gets us was going to be, you know, part of the same world. Like how we got Chorus just walking around, obviously from the same world. I thought this gets us might, you know, be in the same one. Because I think at the end of Black and White 2, gets us gets away again. We would have probably said Neoplasma, I assume. He's wearing his Black and 1 outfit. Not uh, Black and White 2. Fargus level 66, okay. Let's just go for a rock slide. Flinch it, flinch it, flinch it. Okay. If we go for a stone edge, we might be able to take this out. Oh, we're gonna draw Kafargus into Bishop, okay. Bad. That was a critical hit. Wow, okay. Let's switch into Incineroar. Oh, we can get an Iron Head easy. Alright, now take a Flamethrower. So I assume the legendary Pokemon you have will be Kiram. Wouldn't have Reshiram or Zekrom. Because he never really got it, did he? It was all N. And your other character from Black and White 1 and 2. Hey, nice one, Pikachu. Buffalant. Uh, we can stay in, we'll go for a cross chop. I don't think it has Intimidate, does it? No, good. I do like Getsis' music. It sounds like they say Getsis, like, in the song. It kind of reminds me of um, the One Wing Angel, One Winged Angel song from Final Fantasy. If you haven't heard that? Listen to it. You know what I mean. Kind of hear it there, but anyway, flame throw to finish off Buffalant. Ah, oh, Forest Door. I am the worst. Burn it! Burn it! Burn it! Okay, it's fine. One more flame throw should finish it off. Of this. No, we don't. Uh, let's go. Pikachu to finish this off. If we don't finish off a uh, Thunderbolt, then he's probably going to kill us. So please, Pikachu, finish it off. 
Oh wow. Got the paralysis though, I guess. Oh, we're so dead. Without that light ball for Pikachu, we're just not doing enough damage. But we're gonna get it soon. After the whole rainbow rocket post game. Uh, I don't know what's gonna come out next. I'm gonna have to nine tails. So after this, it should be Hydreigon, then get some Kiram. So let's try and take you out with the uh, with nine tails then. Let's go for a dazzling gleam. Okay, one more. Oh, no, my special defense, not good. One more dazzling gleam should take you out. Actually, oh, forest storm, no! Not good. Alright, let's just go into Greninja, go for a Night Slash. We can take that. Right. Nice slash. Go on. Finish it off. Okay, well, it was that really sucks, dude. I guess this is definitely the toughest of the uh, the five so far we've battled. Man, it's annoying. Bond activated. Go to switch out though. Although I'm actually starting to think he might have Zekrom or Reshiram. Purely for the fact that uh he's in his black and white one outfit. Oh, I just thought of something. What if like when you play Sun, uh, Cyrus has Dialga? Lysander has Xerneas, and then you know, obviously whatever gets us has now, he ha will have the other who have Zekrom or Reshiram on Sun. I think that could be a potential, potential possibility. That's gonna die four times we can Fairy. See ya later, Hydreigon. It's either Kiram or Reshiram or Zekrom. That's Reshiram, okay. Since Sun, he's, he's definitely gotta have Zekrom and Sun then. Are you guys playing Sun? Want to confirm that? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure that would make sense. Let's go for a Dazzling Gleam. Wow. Okay, Rush Round's going to be a pain in the butt to beat, but if we just get like and what, go for a nice uh, Stone Edge or even Z Move, finish it off. All good. Get destroyed, Rushram. You good, gets us? You good? Not gonna lie, I really like gets us his like coat. Looks really cool. Could have been defeated by some random trainer from who knows where. <laughs> what? I created Team Plaza with my own hands. Absolutely perfect. I am perfection. I'm the perfect ruler of a perfect new world. You lost. Now please, step aside. You tell him, Lily. This cannot be possible. I will not accept this. Oh. You just like push Lily over? No, 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 no. You don't get to you don't get it, do you? I can't be defeated. I won't be. It cannot be allowed! You tiny intruder, if you value this girl's life, throw us out all your Pokeballs. At this moment. So Getsis is just like ruthless. Like one reason I really love Getsis is because in Black and White 2, he literally almost kills you. He's, he comes so close. If it wasn't for End coming in the nick of time, you'd be dead. And he's just, he just—he pushes a girl down. Like Getsis is like a real villain. Y you cowardly Foxy, please don't listen to him. Shut your mouth. What's this? Your Pokeballs are shaking. Could it be that they're shaking with rage? No matter. Throw away all your Pokeballs right this instant. Alright. <laughs> good, good. That's a good little boy. Do as your elders command you. 
Victory only sits perfect leaders, after all. Such as myself. I see you're still dedicated to your own desires, Getsus. Y you Oh. How can you teleport? It's been a while. Miss Lily, it's good to see you again. We ran into each other in the lab, perhaps you recall. Mr. Chorus? And you, Voltsy, we meet again. Ms. Wiki has sent word that you may need assistance. You have to forgive my rudeness, but I followed your uh, trail using an invisibility device I recently invented. Oh, sweet. <laughs> just gonna casually just throw out that you invented an invisibility device, but it seems Getsis here has caused you quite some trouble. Although it appears that Getsis is from a different world than the one I know. Of course, the chorus of this world. You should have no reason to meddle in my plans. Oh, please. I simply despise you, Getsis. That's enough reason for me. What's this? My body is being pulled. N no! Chorus is just... I like Chorus. It seems like repeated use is not a problem. Even with a prototype. Should have known Chorus machine number 1102 would work. Thank you for helping, uh, thank you for helping us, Mr. Chorus. But what did you do to that man? I simply adjusted his dimensional channel, if you will, and sent him back to his original world. But Getsus is a man of power to match his ambition. He's not someone to be taken lightly. I can only hope that the taste of defeat will keep that Getsus out of trouble in his world. But yes. But turn an Aether Paralyzed back to its original form? All the different worlds mixing together? That won't be easy, even for me. There's tremendous power of evil at the center of the castle. If we can remove that man's twisted desires, the Chorus Machine should be able to revert everything back to normal. You mean Team Rocket's boss? If we can do something about him, everything will be fixed? Indeed, Miss Lily. You're a very sharp young lady. I would like to study this castle, however, so I leave the rest to you two. Damn, okay. Lily gonna heal me up? Sweet. So, we're gonna end this part right here. Next episode, I guess we finish off the Rainbow Rocket post-game by taking on Giovanni, and I've gotta say, Ah oh, man, I have mad respect for Chorus in this uh, this universe. He's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.